Hey guys, this is Premiere Basics, the weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And today is our very first Halloween episode. So you know what that means? Trick or treat. Today I'm going to teach you how to create some super dope scary eye effects that you can use for your Halloween posts. Now let's start by getting our shot first. I'm just making a simple close-up shot of my eyes. Very important to note here, if you blink, you will have a ton of extra work on these effects. And if you look around too much, you will have a ton of extra work as well. So if you want to keep it really simple, just look straight into the camera without blinking. However, you can move your head slightly, but don't overdo it. Okay, next we're gonna drag and drop this shot into Premiere Pro. First, let's start with a simple one, which is the eye color changer. Basically, we just apply the color balance RGB effect to our clip. From the effects control panel, we create a mask that covers our pupil. Feather it a bit and then we're going to track the mask. So first, make sure you're in the beginning of your clip. Then we're going to hit the play button, which will track the mask forward. Now a whole bunch of keyframes will be created now and you can manually adjust these if it's not accurate. Oh, and if your tracking didn't work properly, then click on the little wrench icon and make sure it's set to position, scale and rotation. Now once you're happy with the result, you can use the RGB effect to alter the color of your eye. Now you can do this by changing the values of either the red, green or blue channel. Let's go for a red eye. I'm gonna leave the red value to 100 and change the rest to 0. Bam! Super easy. Now if you want to do the other eye as well, just simply place another color balance RGB effect onto your clip and repeat the exact same steps. You can even make it two different eye colors now. And you can always play around with the opacity of the mask just to get a desired look. The next effect requires a little more precision. We all know the typical demon eyes, right? Well, let's create one of those. Really? Did you really think we were going to create that typical all black eye? Nah. There are already tons of tutorials about that one and honestly a complete black eye looks a bit cheap. So let's make it even cooler. First let's duplicate our clip and on the top clip we're going into the effect controls panel and from the opacity property we're going to make a mask again. Now we're going to mask around the pupil once again and track it. Then we're going to apply a second mask around the entire eye and take your time for this so it's really precise. Now invert the mask and track it again. On the bottom clip, I'm going to apply the Lumetri color effect. Now lower the exposure and shadows or blacks and increase the contrast. Now play around with the feather and expansion of both masks until you have your desired look and bam, a super creepy looking demon eye. Now you can also use the first effect in combination with this one to make it even more creepier. And if you want to apply this to the second eye as well, then nest the clip and apply a mask again. Now sometimes you can get a GPU error when you're nesting and masking. So if that happens and everything becomes just a black screen, I'm sorry, I don't really have a solution for that yet. Just restart Premiere and hopefully it'll work. The next one, a lizard pupil. And once again, let's make a mask in the eye but in a marquise shape. Track it and bam, not there yet. Let's apply a Lumetri color to it mask it around the pupil, track it, then adjust the exposure settings so that it has a harsh contrast with deep blacks and bright highlights. And adjust it a bit so it looks more green yellowish. Now nest the clip and do the exact same for the second eye. And here you have your lizard eyes. Okay guys, now a quick tip. What if your subject does blink? Well, it's very simple. Just duplicate the clip and apply a mask to the upper eyelid. Animate the mask using the mask path and don't forget to turn on the stopwatch of course before animating. And then you can use the bottom layer to apply your effects to. Now the second track will function purely as a masked eyelet that blinks over your eye. The fourth effect is the death eye effect. You know the drill already. Let's use the Lumetri color effect, apply a mask around the pupil and track that baby. Next up is making the eye really dull. So let's crank up the exposure, lower the contrast and raise the shadows highlights, whites and blacks. Then lower the saturation and from a creative tab unsharpen the eye. Now of course you can also make a glowing eye with this. And if you want to make it even more creepier you can always apply the invert effect to it as well. Now don't forget to mask and track that mask again of course. And a final effect, the possession effect. Now once again duplicate the clip and on the top layer we're going to apply the double mask again just as we did with the demon eye. Now you can of course reuse that clip to make it yourself easy. Then we're going to apply a Lumetri to it. 
make a mask, track it, and alter the exposure, contrast, and highlights. Then I'm going to animate the opacity of the Lumetri mask over time from 0 to 100. On the bottom clip, I'm also going to apply the VR fractal noise effect. Set the type to turbulent sharp, place a bit of random seeding to your likings, and then animate the evolution from 0 to whatever you want. Then animate the opacity property of it on the same timing that you've animated the opacity of the Lumetri effect. And bam, now your character is slowly being possessed by a demon. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Halloween episode. If you like learning new effects like this, but want to get even more advanced in it, then have a look at our Adobe After Effects class on Skillshare. Now most of the effects that we've made today can be made much more advanced and way better within After Effects. So I highly recommend learning that software as well. Now if you click the link below, you'll get two weeks of free access to Skillshare. So definitely check it out. I'll see you guys next week for another live stream and tutorial. Have a creepy Halloween and as always, stay spooky. I mean, stay creative.